Hey, hi. How y'all doing? It's good to be back. We're back. I've lost count of what episode this is because it's been a hot second. So you all can just tell us in the comments because... Or we could just check later. Oh yeah, or we could just check later. But welcome back to the Escape Pod podcast. And uh, I just spilled water all over my shirt. No. Everyone's on the phone already. Nothing. We'll be right back. And we're back. Yeah, sorry. Edward's getting some merch from Hawaii because his sister's in band. Also, you can't, you Hawaii. can't, apparently, you can't get a coconut, you can't get a sand, you can't get any of that off of water. You're not allowed to leave with that stuff in, of the island. You're not allowed Actually, to, yeah, like, you're not allowed to take a seashell. Apparently, it's bad luck. It's not bad luck to sneak a coconut back. It, it is. Well, whatever. Well, it's, I've already got there. bad luck, so they'll just pass the bad luck on to me. Hopefully, they bring me back a coconut. They won't. Or a pineapple. You're not allowed to. They literally won't let you. Well, frick them. I don't care. It's not them. It's the free people of Hawaii. Yeah, them. What? <laughs> That's mean. Yeah. Yeah. We... The Sorry to our Hawaiian listeners. What? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Well, this is the episode. What's new that we haven't shared yet before we play this game that I watched people in an interview play. Mm. Oh, future video. Edward's been talking about spray painting stuff. Yeah. We might have a video of us uh, spray painting something, having like a little competition. Uh, it's about that. Yeah, it's about that. About it. And then I will let you know right now that I will whoop Noah's ass. Nah. Wait, Plus- no. We shouldn't. Oh, I was going to say, if we want them to vote which side's better, we just shouldn't show our faces on which side we're... Well, we'll just paint something. Maybe. We just won't tell you know them which I mean? one's which. Yeah, no, that's what, I'm, that's what I was saying. Yeah. But like, if we record ourselves spray painting, they're going to see who is spray painting what. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Well, we could just still record and just post it after. Oh, yeah, we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could just I could just before. convert it to audio or whatever, and then yeah. we can post the... I'll like shorten it down to like a, like an actual YouTube video, or like just take the highlights in there. So that might be coming soon. Also coming soon. Uh, we just went to our friend Nick's grad party today, and we've got a video idea, hopefully that we can film with him. Was that for the podcast or was that for something else? I think it was for the podcast. Okay, we'll make it for the podcast. But yeah, that might be coming soon. We got this is, this podcast here, I have a feeling this podcast is not going to be a podcast all the way through. It's going to start off as a podcast and it's going to switch out to like, what's it called? And then this thing is, could could just be an episode of us just like, could just be like one of our things that we do. Like we just have a conversation or something. I don't know. What do you mean? Like it's going to turn into like a, like a YouTube channel yeah. kind of thing? Like a video? And just us like, what's it called? And like this talking thing could just be like random episodes or something. Like, you um, know how like some people have like skits? And then some people yeah. with those skits, well, they do gaming the, that's videos. That's what the Instagram we've been making for. We've made like the little short TikTok-ish videos okay. for the Instagram. I was just saying like the skits and then some people would like, with skits do like, what's it called? Like vlogging on that stuff. Like I'm guessing. Yeah. So I feel like this would be one of the things. But like, I kind of, I kind of like. I don't do anything interesting that often <laughs> to make to vlog. Like. I'm not saying we're vlogging. Relax. Oh, okay, okay. I am not saying that. If we're I'm vlogging, like, it's summer. I'm chilling. And when the, if we're vlogging, is the year where I, is the day I'm like I don't want to be friends with you, or I don't want to like be part of that recording stuff. Dang, you said you don't want to be friends. I'm just joking. <laughs> the I day don't, we the, vlog is when Edward and I stop being friends. So keep, yeah, keep an eye out for that video. <laughs> <laughs> that was put. I had enough of my shit. Escape podcast gets canceled or disbanded. Probably, I'm not gonna lie, if this thing gets disbanded, it'd probably be my fault also. <laughs> yeah, I hope it'd be my fault. We'll just move and I'll be like, well, all right. That's that. Hey, I am thinking about moving, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, well, wait until second semester when I think about moving to a university. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What the Spoilers! Fuck do I, what the fuck do I have to wait for you? You don't. I'm just saying. If you can't make up your mind in time, make it up second semester after winter break. 
What the hell? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I have I'm to not... move by your or that's dumb, bro. So dumb. I'm just kidding. Da, na, na, na. Oh, oh, we're sorry. thinking about transferring to university. I am though. But I, I thought about this like because I'm going back to Scott and stuff. I said if I do that, I'm trying to think about like where what colleges I would go to. Oh, you're thinking about transferring to like a university, like actually? Yeah, after I do my two years and oh, stuff. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. I thought you were just going back to community college. Just cause. Um, that too. Just cause. <laughs> you got some extra cash in your pocket. You're just trying to. I act like I have extra cash in my pocket. It's just like laying around. It's like you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk around and then, um. It's like you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll apply to this college because why not? I'll go back to college because why not? You know, just cause. <laughs> why not? I got nothing else better to do. I'm just go <laughs> sit in the classroom. It's like you know, you know what? I have week. nothing better. Let's get like. It's like it's like that type of person is like you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy a car. Why? I don't know. Just feel like it. Just cause. I mean, we just watched Transformers, and I would buy a car that looked like that for four thousand dollars. Which on one? Spot. Bumblebee. The Camaro. Yeah. If you get a black and yellow Camaro, I will actually would be like, what's it called? That was the dream car when I was younger. I was like, black and yellow Camaro. That's the one. I like it better I if Bumblebee. the. If the primary color is black and then the secondary color is yellow. Oh, but that's like, more like a yellow jacket. You know what I mean? Uh, exactly. Oh, okay. I like, like, you do you remember um, in Cobra Kai? Um, what's his name? Johnny's. Uh, oh, yeah. Johnny's, that, that uh, what's it called? Uh, Mustang? Was it Mustang? I think, I think it, it was, was a Mustang. Mustang. Yeah. No, it was a Challenger. It was a, it was a dot. Yeah, it was a Challenger. It was a Challenger. Uh, his, what happened to that car? He got rid of it. Remember? No, it's Stingrays now. Yeah. It's Stingrays now. Yeah, I was like, because he was driving around a van. The Eagle Fang van. (laughs) That van, so... uh, Whatever, but yeah, that's that's what happens. I'm excited for the the third season, though, because, like... What's it called? Third? Oh, fourth. I thought this was, like, fourth or fifth. Fourth. Oh, okay. Five. Oh, it's five. Something. I don't fucking know. uh, How many times have... uh, Miguel and Sam broken up, and then we'll just... If it's been four, then it's been four seasons. I, I don't mean. know. It's not four. I think the, the recent one, they're back together, though. Well, but, yeah, because they, they broke up, but then they got back together at the end because yeah. Sam just needed some space yeah. and some time to work on herself. Mm-hmm. And Miguel gave that to her, and then she was like, I forgive you. Stop. I think it was after she found the necklace, though, yeah. in the backyard, where she was like, Oh man, I think he still cares. Like, duh. Yeah. Obviously. But um, what should I call it? Uh what's his face? I'm excited the uh, Robbie and um Robbie? Yeah, Robbie and Miguel. Yeah, Robbie and Miguel. Is that his name, Robbie? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Robbie. Rob Yeah. Why does that sound so weird? Hang on, what's his name? I'm pretty sure it is Robbie. Johnny Lawrence is Robbie name? is just messing with my head. Johnny or Lawrence's son. Robbie. Yeah, Lawrence. Robbie Keane. Robbie okay. Keane, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, who's who's freaking oh whatever. But yeah, I'm excited for that because like now like they're basically brothers at this point. Yeah, they're 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 chill with each other now. Yeah, and then they finally have a... Uh, they they have a baby brother coming in. If you think about it. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. which is I'm I'm really excited. Did for. they say it was a, or not a baby? Brother, they just, just said a, the baby. Like they're, they're uh, Carmen's having a baby. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Well, you have things planned out here. You have cards. What? Oh yeah. So recently, <clears throat> Across the Spider Verse has come out, and with every new movie that comes out, I like watching, the interviews with the cast and the actors, just to like. I don't know. Get the get the behind the scenes of stuff they might say. And so one interview was uh on this I don't know, talk show. I don't know if it's a talk show, but it was on YouTube that I saw. It was with uh Haley Steinfeld who voices Gwen Stacy and Issa Rae who voices Jessica Drew who's Spider-Woman. And it was basically uh, I'm just gonna say it. it was a it was goat or woat, and what I mean by that is they had cards that they would read off of, 
uh, they would flip over and it would be greatest of all time, fill in the blank. And so like some examples they have, and I think I wrote some of them down was like greatest of all time, spider person, obviously. So then they would talk about that. They would talk about Spider-Man villain that, who they thought it was, it was who they thought, not, not like just who the greatest is, but like their opinions on who they thought was the obviously. Best. Yeah. And so you then never have an opinion unless there's like, obviously there's one person. That's yeah. Like, uh, it's just a couple things like that. So I figured we could do that for this one. Uh, I threw in some like different ones that kind of pertain to us rather than just copying the whole interview off YouTube. So I figured we get into that. There's only a few. So there's, there's mostly goat. Greatest of all time cards, but there's also some woat. Wait, what's woat? Worst of all time. Oh, okay. That's why there's only a few, because I couldn't think of many worst of all times that I've had. Or that like we might like uh like a moment. We should have had like what's it called? We should have had uh, somebody else make those for make these for us. Yeah, but we might not have been able to relate to them, you know. No, but like that we the, we could have like literally asked one of our like I could have asked Tyler if he could he could make it for us, and he would have made it like like relate to us, and we could have oh. just like read it off. And I'm like, oh okay. Maybe we'll do something like that when we have him on the show. Okay. Which hopefully is soon. I want to at least have all of them on the podcast before summer ends. So. Oh, to the people, what's it called? That did ask if they could be in the podcast. I am. Uh, we are thinking about it. Cause we're just. Oh yeah, we had a. I had a couple people send me messages. I apologize because I'm not sure if I ever responded to them. <laughs> so I really do apologize. But yeah, we're talking about it with the group, and we're seeing if we can get that. Cause, I mean, we've got like our main group of friends and whatever. Yeah. But also, like some of the people that ask, some of them like people we have not talked to in a while, so we're like, um, what? <laughs> so sometimes, like, if they ask us, we're just like we're caught off guard or like um i haven't talked to you in like five years yeah but okay sure <laughs> let's talk catch up and chat for a little bit and then and then we could we'll do it. or we we'll... can just catch up an episode anyway yeah but uh let's get into this goat or woe game let's just see what we got uh i think we need to shuffle these because just don't show. okay you can shuffle if you want i don't care Ooh. I think there's a couple in here that are more bit like centered towards you. Why? So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I will go first. All right, our first car goat. Oh, it's goat spider person. <laughs> That's the actual first card. Like Spider Man. Like who's like goat? Yeah, who you think the greatest Spider Man is? Spider person. I said person because it's not just men that are spider-man are we are we are we just talking about like are we talking about like what like are we talking about like toby andrew and i'm saying like any spider-man oh okay who you um, think the greatest is of all time mm -hmm. andrew andrew garfield yeah i like okay i'm sorry but like his suit i like his suit the most I, I, his suit he has like i hated all his movies his he, first suit was okay i didn't like his first suit the his second suit, suit was like really good like you, his like you his, think a spider-man his mask is perfect the lens is his what I like. color is perfect and then like not gonna lie i don't his symbol is a little bit big but like it could be a little mm -hmm. bit smaller like tom's uh oh, what's it called i don't like tom's i don't like, I like his tom's symbol. it's too I like tom's. small i like tom's symbol and it's perfect. But Angel for me, I don't know. It's just perfect. And also, like, anybody who says Toby, shut the fuck up. I fucking hate you already if you say Toby. <laughs> I will, I will, I will whoa, throw, whoa, I will whoa, throw whoa. hands with you if you say Toby. I don't care. You're just, you're just person who's like, oh, gee, shut up. Shut up. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't care. Good thing I'm not going to say Toby. <laughs> Good. Because you and I will throw hands. No, my Spider Man's not a live action one. So is it Miles? No, Miles is up there, though. After watching this new one, I really like Miles. I'm not gonna lie. I do. Yeah, I do like he, Miles. He really, uh, he really. I don't want to spoil anything because it's still relatively new, but he really, uh, he really grew up. I guess I could say that. He really took the 
with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, he really took that. No, Spider Ham was pretty cool. So Spider Ham, yeah, I like him. He has the whole like pulling weapons out of his pocket kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That whole that's funny. Um, so yeah, my favorite Spider Person. I don't want to say Spider Gwen because I also just saw the movie and I'm like really biased because she was really cool in the movie too. Mm -hmm. This one explored more of her story too. Um, my favorite Spider Person is Spectacular Spider Man. Okay. The TV show one. Oy. I know the TV show one. Uh, it was originally on Netflix, but I think it's on Disney Plus now. Well, wasn't it a Disney XD show? Yeah. I. Mm, I swear it was a Disney Maybe. XD show. It was. It wasn't Disney a Cartoon XD, Network. Disney XD had Ultimate Spider Man. Too. It might have been Disney XD. Yeah, I was like, but Ultimate Spider Man. Spider Man, in my opinion, is one of the greatest animated adaptations of Spider Man, because it. I mean, it had it had everything. It had Gwen in it. It had Harry. It had MJ. It had Flash. Um, it had Ned. It just introduced a lot of villains that like I've never even heard of outside of like the main live action ones. Mm -hmm. Um but then it also like I, I had the symbiote suit too. It had Eddie Brock. Um and like there there were some moments where I was like, Oh, oh, I've seen that live action before. Mm -hmm. So like like the show is based off of certain Spider Man moments. And so like anytime there's a moment with Toby, like there was a moment where like he stopped the train. There was a moment uh, where like he did like a swinging scene that looked exactly like Toby's, and then like his relationship that he had. Well, first of all, that Peter Parker's Riz was off the charts. <laughs> that dude was getting every single girl on that entire show. I also I, well the thing about that I did like that show. I don't remember like I haven't watched it since like. Since it's like it first came out, yeah, well, I, yeah. Like I haven't watched it since it was on TV, but like the thing about the thing I keep thinking about is his every single thing he put on his mask, mask, his like his head shape looked weird to me. Oh yeah, because it's like it's like he has like edges, and I'm like, what? Yeah, but, nah, yeah. but I still like the show. Well, I mean, you don't want to make him too realistic because just look at Spider Punk. <laughs> Can you imagine what his mask would look like if it was like realistic with his hair? It'd just be smushed. His hair would be his, just... His hair would look like, it would look like, a, like a light bulb. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but no, Spectacular Spider-Man, he's pretty good. Um, that whole show is good. I liked all of it. And I watched it like almost a year ago. Oh, I almost said something that might have spoiled the movie. I don't want to say. We could just... Okay, we can literally just have spoiler alert. Okay, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler I, alert. Spoiler alert. alert. At yeah, yeah, point. yeah. For Sp for across the Spider Verse, I was kind of mad he didn't get more screen time. I'm not gonna lie. Who? Spectacular Spider Man. But I was also really he had mad. One line. <laughs> I was also really mad that he sided with Miguel. That surprised me. And so, like that TikTok you sent me mm -hmm. about like analyzing the poster, how yeah. the left side was uh, with left Miguel, side was with Miguel, and the right side was was with, with Miles. With Miles, Spectacular Spider Man's on the left side. I'm pretty sure he is. And I was like, after watching the show, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just don't see how he could, how he would side with Miguel compared to, to Miles. Here, let's see. He is with, he is on the side of what's it called? With Miguel? Yeah. No, with Miles. Oh, he is? He's on the right side? He's on the right side. Oh, my bad. Against Miles is the. What are the popular ones? The, what's it called? Ben Riley, oh yeah, that Miles, that one, or that Spider Man, well, obviously that one. Makes um, PS Four Spider Man, but the Bag Spider Man. Yeah, um, they were chasing him. I remember. Yeah, um, so it looks like what's it called? Sombrero Spider. What the fuck? The Web Slinger Spider Man. No, like some. No, it looks like a mariachi band Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like to me. On the right side, obviously, is um, the. The guy who was, what's it called? They meet the guy that had like the yo yo, the Indian Spider Man that had like the yo yo and stuff. Oh yeah, just I, Indian Spider. -Man. Yeah, I like him. Oh my god, he looks so cool. Uh, obviously, Gwen Spider Punk. Thank God. Um, 
Spider Punk uh, was probably Spider the coolest. B, uh, Peter B. Parker. Yeah, Spider Punk was probably one of the coolest Spider Man in that movie. But he was so chill. Oh, and it's a, a Spider Man that's like really buff for some reason. Oh, a Gandalf Spider Man. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, that that if if that is true, then that would be cool. If they have um, be some cool foreshadowing. Yeah. But, um, but no, I mean, we all know that if they put the live action Spider People in it, they would totally side with Miles. I mean, just look at Tom Holland, for instance. He refused to send those people home because they were all just going to die. So he changed their entire fates, like, just because. And well, so what it, 29, 2099 would be, would be mad at, um, what's it called? He would be mad at, uh, what's his yeah. And Dr. technically, Strange, I don't think that, spot, that Miles is an anomaly. I, I'm going to go off the, uh, I'm going to go off and say that like, like what he's trying to do, just save his dad. You know, it's kind of only a bad thing if they don't stop the spot. If you think about it, Mm -hmm. because the reason that Indian spider man's universe is getting so messed up is just like the, the portals are just opening because the spot has access to just hop everywhere since he got powered up. Maybe. I don't know if that's how that worked. Yeah. But yeah. But no. Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Oh, so we need to move on from this because we got more cards. Do oh yeah, I know. The other ones probably won't take this this much talking, but he Yeah. He really thought that he could just Sorry, go live I, in a I different one. What oh he really thought he could just go like live in a different universe and just like oh yeah, this 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 Miguel died. I'll just go and live his life. Um, I don't think that's how that works, buddy. But okay. So yeah, by a person. All right, next card. What is the next card? Let's see. Let's see. Do you have a goat artist? Like what artist? Like music. Yeah. His yours. Oh okay. Okay, so there's a, for me there's a goat. Okay, there. It's gonna be rappers, but like there's favorite artists and then there's goat artists. My favorite artist at the moment is J. Cole. My goat goat is Lil Wayne and Eminem. I knew you were gonna say that, yeah. And Eminem. That, I, that, that's it for me. I can't really talk on goat artists because let's be honest, I don't listen to a wide variety of music. I kind of just stick to certain things. But my favorite artist right now. Hmm. If you say Metro Boomin, this pillow is going to come right after your face. No, I'm not going to say. No, I'm not going to say Metro Boomin. That's just because of the soundtrack. Sorry. Oh, you flip your Apple Watch around. Yeah, I have a. I have a. What's it called? Web My web cartridges. My web cartridges. Favorite artist. I can't really say you have a favorite oh, artist. Oh, I can say Goat. I'm going to say Frank Sinatra. I like Frank Sinatra. I was actually listening to him last night. I would say he's... It's not rap, but... He's pop. He's... I would say he's a Goat. Well, I don't know what it... Well, at the, they, they called it pop because it's pop at the time, but like... I feel like they're... Ha- they're I, think, I think that style of singing needs a, its own term now. And I yeah. call it... What's it called? Like... I call it like Night at the Opera House scene. I wouldn't call it pop. I, I don't want to call it pop because for me, pop right now is what we're listening to. But at the at the time when that song came out, it is pop. That's weird. Yeah. We need a we need a genre for it besides just calling it like like classics or like eighties and eighties, seventies and eighties. We need something different. Kind of Frank Sinatra. But I'm gonna say goat artist for me is probably Frank Sinatra. I don't listen to a lot of rap. Forties, so fifties, and sixties. Oh. That that's whenever like whenever he started singing all this stuff. Forties, fifties, and sixties. Oh my bad. When was he born? He was born in nineteen fifteen. Okay, December twelfth, nineteen fifteen. Alrighty. Hmm. All right. Next one, goat comedian. Hmm. Do you even watch like stand up stuff or like do you 
Not really. I'm just thinking of people that I know that are funny. Okay, but like comedians, like you don't have to be like stand. There, you, there's stand-up comedians. There, there's also like comedian actors for me. And then I would say for comedian actors, I would say Adam Sandler's up there. Adam Sandler would if I would say Adam Sandler. But if they're gonna say like stand-up comedian, then for me, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Joko, the uh, what's it called? Um, the Filipino uh, uh, stand up comedian. Oh, I don't know. He's pretty funny. Mm. He he says some relatable things, and then apparently, one of the for I, me, I, no, <laughs> <laughs> I've never, oh, what's it called? I've never met, oh, what's it called? Like an artist, oh, what's it called? And a celebrity that like I related a lot of things to for his childhood. I was mm-hmm. like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. that's not so. Like one of the things he like said, apparently that. Filipino uh, moms mm-hmm. point with their like lips. So like, hey, get that. They go, they do that. They look like, mm. like they, <laughs> they do that. And I've my mom does that. that. Really? Yeah. And then whenever you say, turn off the lights, as you kill it, kill the lights. And I'm like, what? Sounds like right apart. Yo, kill the lights, man. <laughs> exactly. Kill the music. I was like, oh, I'm like maybe that was just, old. maybe that's just like old slang. Uh, I don't think so. Are you saying like it's specifically like a Filipino? Yeah. What the? That was weird. What? Your door just rocked open. Anyway, but um, for me, I I said for like movie uh, comedians, I'm gonna say, uh, like if we include movie comedians, I'm gonna say Adam Sandler for everything. But if it's just strictly a Santa comedian, then I will, I will say Joko. Adam Sandler, pretty good. I'm. A basic white boy. So can you guess who I'm gonna say? Kevin Hart. Yeah. But he's funny though. He is funny. Like I He is funny. And if you pair him up with a good actor, that's a good comedic duo right there. Dude, him and The Rock just oh my god. I watched um every single the first movie he had with The Rock. I couldn't like I almost pissed my pants watching that movie. <laughs> I was laughing so we were friends for a hard. long time. I was laughing so freaking hard. But um, another one up there for me, this like, that I don't he's I don't call him a, he's an artist, but I really want to put Tyler the Creator up there. Oh. He's just generally a oh, funny no. person, that... <laughs> dude. I spent like, do you remember? Like, I spent like a whole day laughing my butt off, and then I we couldn't get through like throw the back, intro of our, back to the yeah to we the couldn't get through an intro. Where we watching clips of him just being stupid yeah we yeah, we couldn't get through an intro of the podcast because i was like laughing my ass off of one thing and also like like whenever um people uh like give me sass i usually send a video of him like doing it okay <laughs> and okay. then some people <laughs> um i'm not gonna say who but like one of our friends that's in hawaii right now they they send me like i'm in hawaii what are you doing right now uh, I said, I said, I'm going to hang out with my friends. And then they're like, okay, what are you going to do when you go home? And then I said, the clip was like, or no, she said, what are you going to do after? And I said, I sent the clip of him saying, I don't know, go home and do what oh, I, I usually put on my do. Instagram? Yeah, I wow. sent that one. <laughs> and she's like, okay, whatever, shut up. And I'm like, right. what I usually do. I mean, because it's true. That's what, that's what I say. But um, I'd say Adam Sandler, for sure. Adam Sandler, for actor. Tyler, the creator for like musician. If you wanted to say YouTuber, oh yeah, Adam Sandler, American comedian. Okay, then yeah, I'm gonna say Adam Sandler. <laughs> go it. I went for YouTuber. I want to say Gideon, but that's just because I've been watching Gideon lately. Actually, let me take that back. Is he funny or is it the stuff he does that's the stuff funny? he does? Yeah, is funny. I'm taking that back. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I've been I've been watching that dude since I was like it's for like for like so freaking. Can long. I say Jake Paul and Logan Paul? Twenty sixteen to seventeen, <laughs> like whenever they used to run it. Yeah, you can say that, but like what's that was it funny to watch. And also, like uh, sometimes sometimes PewDiePie. PewDiePie I've never watched it. PewDiePie. I did. It was like some like whatever. <laughs> uh. Fuzzy Two did a what's it called a free like free Coachella and it went t- terribly and he reacted to it 
and how he reacted. I remember I used to rewatch it over and over because it's just him shitting on Fuzi. And then, like, how he's doing, how, what like, what did Fuzi Tube used to do? He prank, to prank. He, he was part really of the prank. He, he, he's the prank community. Oh, okay. But that's that he doesn't do, he can't do anything though, because that area died out. Yeah. That's kind of sad though. Except for Roman Atwood, who's still, well, he's not <laughs> as popular. Roman Atwood's not as popular as he used to, but, like, he's still doing shit that he, he's still trying to carry on the yeah. torch of pranks on the street. Well, he doesn't do a prank anymore. He just, he does podcast now. He has a, he has his own podcast. Everybody does podcast now. I mean, what's up? It's fun. We're doing it. We're doing a podcast. Everybody's it's just a talking. Podcast. It's, it's like it's so easy, but it is kind of a pain to record. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you gotta it's move fun. on. All right, let's move on. Next card: Goat anime slash main character. Okay, so we're talking about are we picking a show? Then we're gonna pick the MC. Sure. So we're gonna pick the show. We're gonna pick the MC. Okay. I'll go. One piece. I'll go first first for this one. Goat. Goat anime. Attack on Titan. Oh, shut up. No. Shut up. That show is phenomenal. Ass. You can't tell me you can't watch that show and not like just jaw to the floor. No, I I I will say I I do love that show. I do love it. It is one of my favorites. That show is really good. Goat main character. I just I have to go with Luffy. Exactly. I just have to go with Luffy. Exactly. I mean, I haven't seen all of One Piece. I know most about One Piece. I know all the, like most of the characters in One Piece, but I've seen. I've, I've watched like I've, a few hundred episodes, and I Luffy I've, just makes me smile. I've seen see all of it. I've read all of it. Dang, Christian had the uh, audacity to tell me. You act like you're caught up. And I'm like, excuse me? Literally I, me with a Shonen Jump subscription. <laughs> dude, I literally, I, I pulled it up. And I was like, you want to look at all this right now? You want to look at all this right now? I was like, I was like, generally. Does it keep track of what you've read? Like it says, yeah, like, check it, my it, view. It, no, it doesn't say check. It just like, if you haven't read it, it's like, it's like, it's glowing white. Oh, uh, okay. And if you've read it, it's like, it's gray. Like it's not. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the chapter is not, it's just gray. So I was like, are you sure that I haven't read all of it and I haven't caught up with it? Which I have. Like, I have, I guarantee you, I've probably seen Dr- the Dressrosa arc. Well, I watched, I recently started from Dressrosa. I was going to say, you just rewatched it. And then, like, caught up to it. And now I'm in uh, Whole Cake Island again. Which, I, not gonna lie, I didn't like Whole Cake Island. I'm just pushing through, trying to get. Uh, I thought you said you liked it. I had a friend who said that he absolutely hated it. I I didn't. I liked the fight with him with Luffy and uh, Sanji Katakuri. Oh, that's the and uh, I also like the Sanji part with the with his whole entire family. I liked that part, but at the same time, like it was just I didn't. I, the whole arc it was okay. It was it's, okay. They're my favorite. They're my dead. I would have. I, I wouldn't say it, okay. I would say I hated it. If it wasn't for the Katakuri and Luffy fight, that that that's whenever I say I'll hate it. So right now I'm just trying to push through it, trying to get to Wano. Hmm. So are you gonna rewatch all of Wano? No, as soon as okay. I get to Wano, I'm stopping. Okay, uh, okay. As as that would get, be a bit much. I'm, I'm still I'm already <laughs> I'm already watching Wano yeah. right now. So as soon as I get to Wano, I'm just gonna stop watching it and then do it. So yeah, people watch anime. Hop on One Piece now. It's it's getting close in the manga. It's, no, it's don't. close to the final arc. If you're gonna watch it, you should have started it like long ago. So read just it. Don't bother. Read it. If you're gonna, if you if, if you're, you're gonna if get you're, involved, read. Yeah, it. Yeah, if you're gonna get involved, re- reading is way better because you can. What's it called? You can do it faster than you can watching it. Yes, read it. Plus, like, once we find out what the One Piece is, there's no more like. If it's some dumb thing, that, that there's no if it's, more, like, like, if it's a know. dumb thing that's like it's the relationship you made, I I swear to God, I've seen videos of that. If it's like that, I will hate Oda. I will hate that show, I and know. I will stop. I, I actually haven't read any of the recent chapters. I just see stuff on TikTok, but I haven't either. I'd like I've stopped reading. Um, I just I just I saw something had to do with Shanks and his yeah. like family, and I was like, oh, uh. Also, uh, up for me up awesome there, sliver. For me up there, for um, favorite anime I'd, or greatest all the time anime, I'd say Dragon Ball. Just that whole entire series, except for GT. Fuck GT. I haven't watched that, but just it looks fun. 
it looks like it'd be a fun show to watch. It is. There's a lot of fun shows. Anyway, we gotta move on. And you said it like four times. Oh, Are you got, got, it, got it. I'll read. I'll read it. This okay. Time. What's the next one? Rom. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> that was just one that they put on. We don't have to do that one. Greatest of all time rom coms. What are rom coms? Ro- romantic comedy? Is that it? Yeah. You don't know what those are. I don't. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. On the top of my head, I don't know rom com. Like I've movies. watched more like anime rom coms than like actual rom coms. Rom com movies with Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was like the first thing I saw you. Uh. Yeah, Brick. I have not watched any of these movies. We can skip that one then. I just kind of threw it in there in case. We uh, let's go up. with Blended because that's Adam Sandler in it. <laughs> yeah. Adam Sandler. Wait, hang on. Oh, uh, just go with it. Lost City. Okay. There, there has to be one at least I've watched. Well, there has to be you one. You didn't know what rom com meant. There has to be one at least I've watched. Apparently, this movie yesterday is a rom com. Whatever. Nope, that's not a rom com. Anyway, yeah, we're skipping that. We're okay. skipping that. I don't think I've watched any. Would you consider When Harry Met Sally a rom com? Mm, I, I guess so. I don't know. Hey, that's the only one I've watched. Greatest of all time sneakers or shoes. I can't pick. I can't. Because, like, I'm just going to say the Miles Morales shoes. That's all I'm going to say. Air Jordan ones, Chicago. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, aren't man. you freaking basic? <laughs> what can I say? So basic. What can I say? I own a white pair of shoes. I'm sorry. I, I, I hope I just defended some. A lot. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, Marvin and I were talking that uh, what's it called? I like. I can't have like because like I don't have a style of shoe that I'll be like. No matter what, I'll keep going. Arvon's got some nice shoes. I'm not gonna lie. Who? Arvon. Yeah. Just a couple times I've seen him. He, he always has nice shoes. Nice shoes on. Uh, good shoes. Dude, I, he isn't gonna hear this, but I think I'm pretty sure I told him this. But um, I'm really jealous of his Air Force the jeans, his Air Forces that are like jeans thing, like material. Like, did you see his blue Air Forces? Did he wear them when we? Or he yeah, it was. Oh, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, I think uh, so. Hang on, if you don't, just I'll I'll tell him to send a picture after this. But like, I'm really jealous of those because those look really nice, and I'm like, oh man, I wish I bought those. And uh, and then the thing is, like a person, uh, somebody like personalized it. Like, uh, it's the only one you'll find anywhere. Oh really? Yeah, it's the only one because oh. like it's like I'm pretty sure like somebody like personalized it. So it's it's he has it. So I'm like. You gotta be fucking kidding oh. me. Which I didn't I'm, know that. That's cool. Which, uh, which I'm really mad about. But um, I don't want to say Jordan ones. If I if I will pick a shoe style, I will say either Jordan fours or Jordan threes, or even Jordan. No, j- nope, Jordan threes. Jordan threes. Those are Jordan threes and Jordan fours. No, I'll say threes. Those are probably my favorite sneaker. Not, not a lot of people. Don't give me that. <laughs> not a lot of people um like them because they look really basic. But Jordan threes. Yeah. I'm gonna look up a picture of all of the Jordan shoes, the different models. Oh, Jordan Elevens as well. They look great. Really nice. uh, I would say Jordan threes. Those are, at the moment, those are my favorite shoes. But I am also oh, I also the whole list. Okay, hold on. I also like Dunks. Air Jordans? That's what, that's, okay, yeah. what, what model were you talking about? Three. Not a lot of people like them. Mm, yeah. A I, lot of people like them. Not a lot of people like like them. Like Marv doesn't like I'm Jordans. I'm not going to lie. They kind of look like fancy New Balance shoes. Hey, whoa. It's just kind of how they look on the bottom. Easy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm looking at 23 models of shoes right here. and look I at, mean, some of these look worse than, than that one. I'm not going to lie. All Jordan shoes. The Air Jordan ones are just miles. That's funny. Yeah, because it's the OG. Uh, this seventeen. That one looks whack. It looks like a running shoe. Which one's seventeen? Are you? Are we looking at the same picture? This one. Yeah. Uh, it's like red, blue, and white. What? Let me, what picture are you looking at? Oh, look at these. 
Oh, we're looking at different pictures. That one? Oh. <laughs> uh, that one looks... No, they don't know... 22, they did not know what they were doing there. No, I'm okay. sorry, 17, 17. Okay, so these started off as basketball shoes, okay? Yeah. These started as basketball shoes. We even not, though Jordan 1s... Are they not What? Are they not still basketball shoes? The newer ones. The oh, newer okay. ones are basketball shoes, but Jordans are, like, the first, like... I'd say... All the way to like all the way up to Jordan twelves, the rest of those shoes are not basketball shoes. Oh. If you play basketball in those shoes, you're horrible. Let's see, like let's actually, see do not call them basketball favorite. shoes because they are not basketball shoes. Hmm. If I had to pick my favorite now, first time seeing all, I don't know, twenty three pl- models of the shoe. <laughs> so. Okay, so they all, for, they all just look odd. For me, yeah, they do look odd. <laughs> but for me, it's no the offense. I would the shoes I would buy, the shoes I would buy from the like the, the style of Jordans. I'd say Jordan ones, Jordan three, Jordan four, uh, Jordan elevens, and two. Nope, that's it. The elevens look a little odd. Just just the picture of the shoe I'm seeing because it looks like it's got like rubber on it. Those are those are. Those are my the favorite. pair of shoes that we found at Kohl's that one time in clearance. Were those Jordan ones? No. What were those? Those were Dunks. Oh. <laughs> I really know my shoes. Like shoes and just like I really that. know my shoes. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> oh my gosh! What kind of what kind of doohangus is this? Yeah, no, I can't pick a favorite. They. Mm. I, also, no offense like, for like, for I the just, people like also like sneakerheads like I guarantee you like none of you would be saying oh favorite type of shoes favorite type of that yeah there's too many I mean that was one of the questions on the interview and I'm like when when they got to that I'm like how are you gonna pick a favorite shoe like there are literally so many different brands and, like they all look different like maybe if you pick like a brand that has lots of popular models or, like good models but like. Hmm. What the? There's a pair of New Balances that, um, a lot of people won't like, but I really like. It's the New Balance 992s. Is it the Dad Lawn shoes? No, no, no. no. Oh man, I want to get a pair of those. I feel like every dad should should get it when. Yeah. The New Balance 992s, and then they're the same colors as my boss. I really like those shoes. As your what? As my bosses, Laban's. Oh, your bosses. Oh. <laughs> I thought you. No, no, I thought you said something else. Okay. What did you say? Said? Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, I like these shoes. It's, it's the same color, my <laughs> balls. Yeah. Oh yeah, they look good. Yup. Okay. Well, let's see. See if I can find it. I can't find it. No, they, they look kind of like this. They look kind of like that. That color? Yeah. I, what I would you like wear you. those with? Dude, they look good. It's like, that's like a neon blue. No, 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 no. It's like it's, turquoise. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll support it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shoes, though. Anyway. It. All right. Next one is Goat TV Show. You hear that? I did. What was that? Oh. Okay. Oh. Go TV show. Go TV show. I'm not gonna pick an anime. What? No. That we. It does. Yeah. No. It doesn't count. Um. I don't know. I don't have one. Can I say like? Can if I say a show? Do I have to claim all of it, or can I claim up to a certain point of the show? Like, like you'd say a show, and then like up to, it's probably your sister saying. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. I had it's like what's it called? It's like from, from like you say a show up to like what season? Can I say that? Can I do that? Sure. Okay, Game of Thrones, six. Until season six. Fuck season seven and eight. Fuck those. 
I hate those seasons so much. I can say the same thing about The Office for that. Actually, I mean. Actually, you know what? No, Game were, of Thrones to season four. That's it. And there's eight seasons? There's eight seasons. Dang, so you only liked half of the show. No, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll claim six. Six was fun. Six, uh, season six was great. Seven was ass. Eight was horrible. It was just mm. plain garbage. But I don't know. They were, uh, like that, and um, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of shows I've watched, but like most most shows I've watched recently are like what's it called sitcoms. Uh-huh. And everybody's like laugh tracks. Yeah, I'm like, shut up. Kiss my ass. Well, I'm gonna say The Office. I feel like that's a show that. Mm, never mind. I can't say that because it has directed humor towards a specific audience. So if you don't find what they are saying and what they're doing funny, you're probably not going to like this show. Mm -hmm. But that is a show that is good all around. It gets you invested in all the characters. Oh, no, I got it. What? Ben 10, dude. Ben 10. Can I say Pokemon? Yeah, you can. No, I would say Pokemon as well. But that's an anime. Go cartoon. Cartoon show. That's an anime. Pokemon is an anime, no. Okay, uh, through with Ben 10. No, it's not. Um, it's made here. Last I checked. I'm just it's kidding. made here. No, I'll say The Office. The Office is good. All nine seasons are good. Um, Actually, the last two-ish seasons are good depending on what perspective you take on a certain character. Oh, whatever. If you think that one character becomes really annoying and you hate him, then you're probably going to hate the rest of the show. But if you're like me and you sympathize with the character and you kind of felt bad for him, then I don't think you're going to hate the show. Yeah. But I'll say this cartoons from Ben 10, like the Benton show, like, like the whole entire thing until, uh, after ultimate alien. And I didn't like those. Yeah, I can't speak. I mean, I watched lots of cartoons, but I never watched lots of cartoons from top to bottom. I just kind of watched yeah. whenever I've watched, they I've would watched, come on TV. I watched Ben 10 from top to bottom until Dang. Ultimate Alien, and I didn't like Omniverse, so I, didn't, I stopped watching there. And then for Which cartoons... Which one's the one where they get older? Where it's like older? Ultimate Alien. Or no, Alien Force, and then Ultimate Alien. Oh. Where he has like a green jack and a 10 on it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's that's Alien Force. Anyway... For cartoons, I would say that, but for like, for that, for like regular shows, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Game of Thrones, up to season six, and I will also say, I will also put Breaking Bad in there. Oh my god, I forgot about Breaking Bad. I'm surprised you didn't say Better Call Saul also. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the office. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Those are two completely different things. Yeah. All right. TV show, I'm going to say The Office. Netflix series, I'm going to say Breaking Bad. That even though even Netflix. though it was technically on AMC. Ne- it, it's not a Netflix show. Breaking Bad was a TV show. I know. But just let, you me, cannot, let me say no, no, it's no, the no, best. No, 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 no. I'm not letting that slide. You cannot call Breaking Bad a Netflix show. I'm changing my answer then. Yeah, you better. I'm changing it. Uh, Breaking Bad is amazing. Better Call Saul is also amazing. Some people don't watch all of Better Call Saul, but I definitely think that you should. You should definitely watch all of it. It is very good from top to bottom. There's not a single episode that I had to skip, like skip through. It, it was. It's made by the same people, uh, Vince Gilligan, who produced Breaking, Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. It's a prequel to Breaking Bad, except for like the last three or four episodes. It will not interest me. So I, I, I he, he just okay. I'm sorry, but it really doesn't. Like it, like I've, I've. Have you watched any of it? No, I haven't. You should, you should watch at least. I'm not going to. At least like I think the first season's like five or six episodes. I am not going to. Why? Give I am good not reason. going to. Give me good reason. The last time somebody really forced me to watch a show, I watched it in a week. And I didn't do anything for a week. Now, the reason, and then not only that, the, at least that show that they convinced me to watch, I had like somewhat of like interest to that show. What was it? Game of Thrones. Oh, Next, 
Better Call Saul for me, I do not find it interesting. I do like, I it did not interest me like how Breaking Bad did. I'm like, because like you, Tyler watched it, you wa- you started watching it. I was like, maybe I should give it a shot. And I saw a preview of it. Like, I saw a preview of it. And I was like, that actually looks interesting. And also, I would rewatch that show again. Yeah. Also, also, Better Call Saul. I also watched the preview of it whenever you guys started talking, like you, Luke, and Nolan started talking about it. I have never, I never was like, I was like, eh, it doesn't interest me. Dang, why, bro? You, so wanna, I just you don't want to know what happens? No, not really. Dang. I don't care. My favorite part of Breaking Bad was Walter White. I know he's in it, but I don't care. Who said he's in it? Oh, come on. It's a prequel to Breaking Bad. Come on. There's literally... It's a prequel set three years before Breaking Bad. Hey, uh, oh, I already said spoilers. I don't care. I know there's a scene of what's it called. Have you watched the new season? Yeah, I've watched all You of finished it. it, right? Yeah. Okay. I know there's a, the only part that honestly interest, interested me was when Saul said I did whenever he started talking about Walter White in court. That's literally like the last episode. Exactly. Because that spoiled everything for you. You... Jesus, man. No, I no. That, I only Everybody saw that. Go watch Breaking no, Bad. No, I only saw Actually, that clip after. Sure you're old enough to watch Breaking Bad. What? I I saw that clip after I finished El Camino, which is after, right after I watched Breaking Bad. Yes. So, watch Breaking Bad. It's a good show. It's a movie that follows up on how one other, how another character's story ends. But if you can, if you've never like heard or been spoiled or seen anything for it. Watch Better Call Saul first up until the last few episodes of the last season. Then watch all of Breaking Bad. Watch the movie. And then finish Better Call Saul. That would be... And it, I wonder how that experience would go. Because you would get to experience everything from like very beginning to the very end. Without having to do what, what I did. Which was like, I watched all of... Even though Better Call Saul was out, I watched all of Breaking Bad, the movie. And then I went and watched Better Call Saul. Which takes place before... The show. Mm-hmm. I wonder how that'd be. All, All right. right. What's the next one? Next category. Okay. School year. Maybe Senior year. Time. School year. Senior year. Senior year was good. Senior year. Yeah, no, senior year is good. Senior yeah, year was good. good. I'm not. I not not to that senior year, but like lots of things happened. Lots of things happened for senior year. It was fun. I also, really, I would, I would, I would also say. um, year. All the people I met became friends with. I would say, like, I hated middle school, but, like, eighth grade year was fun. Like, I loved eighth grade year. It was fun. That's, that's what I was going to say. I was like, no. Yeah, senior but, year was... but senior year is, is I love senior year. I hope all class 23, I hope you guys enjoyed your senior year. I hope you didn't. I'm joking. Yeah, you know, that's the two sides of the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> right. Childhood memory. Oh, man. Okay. I made these, like... Five days ago, so I forgot which ones are on. Here. Childhood memory. What a hmm. for childhood. When memory. I first met my friend Edward. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Just kidding. Kiss my ass. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know, man. Greatest of all time, childhood memory. Good lord. Probably my phase of. Transformers and Cars. Like the movie Cars. I remember I watched Transformers, then I watched two. I watched Transformers 1, 2, and 3 the same day. In the same day. And I, it was a great, it was amazing. And then when 4 came out, I watched it in theaters. Whenever my mom said she would take my whole entire swim team, if, what's it called? We all placed mm-hmm. in, like, what's it called? In the swim events, and we all placed. And then, what's Did it called? She stick to it? What did she stick to her? Yeah, we all watched. Eyes, we watched. We watched Age of Extinction in like in movie theaters, and I've watched the movie Cars over and over to the point I memorized it. So I would say, I guess my favorite childhood is probably watching all Transformers movie and Cars in the same day. Nice. Well, I'm gonna say uh, I was gonna say when I went to Florida to go to Legoland for the first time. That's very different. Oh, than actually, no, that's <laughs> not. That, I would say. I would say whenever I went to Saudi Arabia and visit my dad, hmm. that was a good one. That was fun times. I like that. 
Legoland as a kid. God, I got so much it's Beyblades. A magical that, experience that, summer. that everybody needs to go and I just said experience twice, but go experience Legoland. I don't care if you like Legos or don't like. I don't care if you don't like Legos. Go to Legoland. Period. Thanks. There's also Disney. Uh, I've never been to. I need to go to Disney. World. Oh, it's a Universal. But okay. Last one. Spider Man villain. Starting with Spider Man, ending with Spider Man. What's I got worst of all time? Oh yeah, that? we we don't have to do those. No, we can do it. There's only it's three like cards. Few. Okay, it's three cards. We can do it. Go Spider Man villain. Um, real quick. <laughs> Venom. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Venom. Venom's cool. It's just it's, Venom. It, it's evil Spider Man. It's Venom. <laughs> I mean, he was cool before they made live action. Then he became kind of funny, and I was like, that kind of made him. I I don't know. I liked him even more whenever they kind of gave him like a little, yeah, comedic side. Yeah. Uh, I, yep. Then it's definitely good. Venom. All right. All right. Worst. Okay, we just got a few left, and then I'm worst wrap movie it up. of all time. Worst movie of all time. Oh man, I know. Like, there's a lot of movies I'll be like, fuck off. I don't. Oh, sorry. Mean Girls. I I like I don't care how what's it called, how like amazing for other people it was. I do oh, not fucking I have like not it. Seen that movie? I do Is not fucking one... like it. Give me a second. I'm thinking of one girl in my head that I've seen from clips. Come on, you got this. Lindsay Lohan. Yes, this is the yes. This is mm-hmm. what I'm thinking of. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst movie of all time. Oh, for me, I don't like it. 87%. Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. Rotten Tomatoes says otherwise. What's not? Our our opinion matters. I hate Mean Girls. I do not like I don't see why. Why did you watch it? Because my sister was like, you should watch Mean Girls. I'm like, no. And she's like, just do it. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. That was it. It's worse than the Emoji Movie, and yes, <laughs> I, I and yes, that. I did watch the Emoji <laughs> Movie, and not gonna lie, there are some points in that movie that I did chuckle a little bit. Mean Girls was so boring. I was gonna. There are a lot of Pixar Disney movies coming out that just look awful. Hey, like, I look at the trailer. Stop hitting on like, Elementals, man. It actually looks interesting. No, it does not. Yes, it does. Elementals looks garbage. That one movie with the girl who's a kraken at her yeah. school it looks garbage teenage kraken yeah that looks so st- and like the, the antagonist the bully is hey Ariel. hey 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 you're not the targeted audience you doofus <laughs> you're old get over it i'm gonna say the miss marvel or she hulk tv show is probably the worst form of media on the <laughs> it says movie not a tv show you dumbass well, you already said emoji movie no, I said Mean Girls. I said I said two things that are movies. You said a TV show. <laughs> if you okay, fine. I'll say movies. I and think TV the Marvels is going to be the worst movie. <laughs> in the world. Uh, I Hereditary was, is a pretty bad movie. I mean, I mean, I watched that one, and I was just like, "Dang, these people are dying because of some curse." I mean, like that sucks. Just get some holy water. If it if it didn't, what's it called? If it really didn't spoil for you. Cause like if I just let it, if I just let things happen, and just let you hide and stuff, like what's it called, you would have hated it even more. I probably would have hated it. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought some of the, the some of the things in the movie were were so dumb. They're very dumb. Okay, Weird. whatever. But yeah. Um, I was okay. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring this up. I don't get the original trilogy. You know, sorry, Empire Strikes Back. I don't get why everybody You're loves. Gonna say that's the yeah. worst. Movie no, 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 I'm not of calling the time. worst movie. I am not calling. Relax. Oh, I was like, relax. Whoa, I am not calling bro. Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, the worst movie. Okay, I just don't get why it is everybody's favorite. Because the heroes did not win in the end. So that never happens. So that barely ever happens. So that is a big so. No, Roman. dude. Okay, come on. Okay, I like okay. watch that. Let's, whole... let's let's see if we can break it down. What happened in Empire Strikes Back that was relevant? Luke met with Yoda. 
That right, was Yoda boring Yoda also. Yoda no, Yoda I was that okay, I'm not a Star Wars. I'm sorry. Okay, it's not even that it literally I literally watched it. Star Trek for life. Okay, shut up. I have never watched a single Star Trek show or movie. Said, Whatever, if, even if it is, I don't know. If, I don't even know if it's a movie or a show. Live long and prosper. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> I let, just like it. Anyway, I have, okay, Empire Strikes Back. I never understood, understood why everybody liked it. I, I watched it, all right? Mm-hmm. And I sat there, I sat there, and I was like, this is really boring. I don't it, and it, and don't say it's not and then for some people it's gonna be like it's probably because it was an older movie. No, there are old movies where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll like I'm so interested. Movie. Even the old movies have horrible pacing. Rocky, I'm joking. Dang. <laughs> Rocky is horrible pacing. I'm sorry, I would say that. But like, I sat there and then watched Luke meet up with Yoda, and I'm like, oh my god, just hurry up. <laughs> I'm like, just get through just it. Hurry up. Start training already. Like, just, give, give him a life Shut up. Just go fight like, shut up. What are, even, what are you even doing, bro? That, 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 the words. For correction, he is not saying that is the worst movie of all time. It is he not. Is just saying he did not understand it. I am not going to say that any of the Star Wars movies are the worst of all time. I don't care what people say about the. I will say Jedi. that also. Not, um, well, I, I would say Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars movie. I don't know. But uh, I'll have uh, to go back and out of all the Star Wars, mo- I will not. I will. I won't even put any of the Star Wars movie near the worst generate worst list. Can you tell what we're passionate about? Isn't this so funny? It's it. All the Star Wars movie would probably still be in my top one hundred. I do not care. Okay, what's next? Yeah, here, just do worst of all time. For, just say both of them, so we can. I'm just gonna do this one. This one doesn't matter. What's the other one? The last one. Do you have a worst of all time band moment? What was that one? Work moment. That one could go on forever and ever. Amen. Shout out to Miss. What's her name? <laughs> My eighth grade math teacher she used to say that all the time. I want to say Miss Bess, but I hope that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Wait, what's her name? Whatever. Worst. Wait. If worst... anyone was on Team Eight A, tell me what her name was. She had the. Just she had the Mr. Brecht. That was the student teacher. He was Irish. He was bald. Everybody made fun of him. Whatever. Worst Sorry. band moment of worst all time. Worst band moment of all time. Um. Fucking quarantine year. Oh. Come on, let's be honest. Is that year? Uh, playing. Um. You didn't. You didn't like playing Sweet Caroline over and over again. And <laughs> open arms and Seven Nation <laughs> Army. What? You weren't a fan of that. Most awkward, uh, worst band moment. Probably when I didn't get first chair that once. That one, uh, that one time. In Shut it up! <laughs> Shut kidding. up! <laughs> I woke up that morning and I said, "Oh shoot! I didn't practice my scale." Oh yeah, I everybody, uh, everybody was like, "Yo, Noah lost." Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like Noah lost. Whoa! Um, <laughs> uh, I was always first chair when we got caught playing go fish in the girls' room. <laughs> oh was, my god that was probably my worst fan moment because that was the most awkward fan moment i just i didn't know what to do i mean we didn't do anything but play you, cards. no no, no it's like, we weren't allowed to be okay we're not gonna say anything but like she was like let's go play cards and we're like okay sure we're gonna go play cards yeah. but we didn't know where to play cards for so we sat on the floor like, around like an ottoman had cards on the, on the ottoman yeah and we it, it, was it go fish I think it was Go Fish. No, so we were gonna go to the lobby, but the lobby was like filled with other band people. We're like, all right, we don't want to be there. Yeah. And we went to like the like the breakfast area, and there was also band people there. So we're like, okay, what the hell? Everything. So we decided. We decided it was like you know let's just go in one of our rooms, and then there was some because Noah and I like what's it called? We were in a room together with two other people. There was already two people in their room, and we're like, um, who was in our room? Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Okay. But then. What's it called? There was a, so she was like, "There's like, let's go to my room and let's play cards." So we yeah, played like, cards, like, cards and cards. then, uh, <laughs> um, who was it? Who opened her? Her roommate? No, it wasn't her roommate. It was one of the drum majors. Yeah, but I thought they were rooming together. Oh yeah, they probably were. Okay, so she opened the door and she's like, "Ah, uh, you can't be here." And really, they were like, really loudly. What? And then a parent like came the, in the and we're like, "Oh okay, okay. shit!" The door was open in the room. We were in the. You could visibly see us through the through like the the opening of the door, just on the floor. 
we're like in what, like seventh grade, eighth grade. I don't this know. This was high this school. was in high school. What, what are you talking about? about? Sophomore year. Yeah. And we're just we're just sitting on the floor. This was in Kentucky. Kentucky. I think was so. it Kentucky? Louisville. Yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, it was in Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Continue. And so we just sit on the floor, just playing some go fish with some deck of cards. And so her roommate walks in and goes, "Um, you, you guys cannot be in here." And then we, and, uh, you know, uh, there's parents that parents were came in and they go, "What's going on down there?" And then, <laughs> and then what's it called? Uh, shout out for her though for did uh, standing up for us. Like we're just, uh, we didn't know we could do that. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, I feel, ah. like, I feel like we did know. We were just like, "Oh, we're just gonna we're just playing cards." You know, it's chill. <laughs> that was dumb. Yeah, that was very dumb. And then they were like, they were like, you two know better. And I'm I was like, like, what do no, we do? <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. Shout out to like, the parents were chill though. They were like, just don't do it again. Don't be stupid. Yeah, they were like, just you are, you know, the boys can't go in the girls. So don't be, girls don't be room. stupid. Come, Come on. on, don't, don't be. Use your I, I'm glad they didn't tell B was there. She was, oh my god, I would be long. I did not want to do that. They would have looked at me and gone. <laughs> and yeah, me, no, he was definitely just playing cards, man. <laughs> <laughs> me would be like, "What are you doing?" They'd be like, "What is this? What are these idiots doing?" Like, no, Schultz would have yelled at me for some reason because that was before. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying. That was when anyway. Schultz hated everybody before he was chill with us. Well, Schultz didn't became chill. Well, Schultz didn't became chill with. Me. No, Schultz became chill with me whenever I started playing saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like seventh grade. What are you talking? About? Exactly. Oh. Yeah, I never had, <laughs> I think that I, was I, so early on. What are you talking about? Whatever. But yeah, that was the last one. That's that was goat or woat. Goat or woat. That sounds so horrible. <laughs> I know it does. Goat slash woat. I think I'm gonna call the video. Wow. Well, Edward's got his Starbies. It's not Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, they'll never know. It's not Starbucks. <laughs> Fuck off. Ugh. But yeah, thank y'all for listening this week. Not sure what video is coming next, but we got some ideas in yeah. uh, just about an, an hour. No, so, God, my arm. Stay Ow. tuned. This will be out soon. Also, oh, fuck you, Irvine. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I just forget about it at this point, and you just, you just have to just pay something. It, it has to be a tradition. Oh, my bad. Fuck Irvine, bro. He's annoying. So. Irvine did nothing wrong. Like, Love you, Marv. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.